What is going on guys, this is SJH Sports bringing you episode number 2 of my York City career mode and I am really am enjoying playing the games with this, um, I've got up to around and about episode 4, the start of, I've got episode 4 complete with the footage and it just needs editing out and uploading obviously um, on the actual days. Now when I did this uh, League 2, I, I, when I said I wanted to do one, I really did want to do one, Just I just wanted just to be like a... A background to my Leeds United manager mode, and my Leeds manager mode is definitely going to be the same as um, is it's going to be the main one on my channel. But I thought I'd, I'd allocate an extra slot for this um, over the weekend because I'm really I'm enjoying it. Um, it the Leeds one will be going up Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and the York City one will go up Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I'm going to allocate another slot over the weekend for this because it, I am enjoying it that much, and I want to share it with you guys as well. And you can see my journey from League Two right up away through to the Premier League. And I have to say, we have got off to a cracking start in this season, and um, the, the third episode will be uploaded over the weekend sometime. Possibly it'll be a Saturday, possibly it'll be a Sunday. I'm not entirely sure on that yet because my weekends are rammed with work and I work Saturday nights. But I'm working tomorrow night um, instead. It gets, I get swapped about now and again, which happens pretty rarely. But hopefully I can get some episode 3 edited out. Um, we go into the first game then and we're playing Wickham Wanderers at home. So then it is Wickham that get our game underway and we start off the better side in the ninth, tenth minute. The ball's played over it. Get a bit lucky. It's a great save from the goalkeeper. But Powell is there to pound and hit it into the back of the net. Great start for us. We are leading by one goal to nil. It's a great way to start this episode. And what about this for the ball? Grant is in the area and Ingham does magnificently well to make himself be. Then another ball over the top play to Ainsworth this time. He jinks into the area, managed to get a challenge, but Wickham keep it alive. And what about that for a move? And that is very unlucky from them, I have to say. But that is that till half time. We go into the break and having our half time oranges by the goal to nil. And then Wickham again are opening up my defence like a hot knife through butter. He's in his grant and the keeper Ingham does well enough to make him put it, put the attacker off to hit the ball on target. And as you saw there, Powell has a strike from range from the throwing and it goes miles wide of the, ball, the, the goal. Then uh, Wickham again, I'm getting bodies behind the ball and trying it, finding it hard to break me down and that's what they are doing here in the last few stages of the game. The shot goes wide, then there's a chance for one more attack of the game and Chambers will receive the ball, play a nice ball to, to Joe and Joe shoots and the goalkeeper is equal to it and that is how it stayed. We beat Wickham Wanderers by one goal to nil, what a start for us and we're still yet to concede a goal. Then straight after the game we get a chance off a four hour transfer listed player Jamie Reid and we then do decide uh, to accept the offer. I was going to stall it but I thought you know what I just want him out of the door it adds extra funds for me and that's that. Then we get a message saying perfect start for Hunter and um, it's the early season uh, at the minute and we're greeted by um, the perfect start for, uh, for manager and the fans are absolutely ecstatic with how York City have started the season. So then we go into our second game of the episode. Before that, we receive um, that Jamie Reid has been sold to Barnet for 40k and we receive 35k into our transfer budget. Yippee! Excellent, just what I need. All the play, it does, I'll tell you now, guys, it does help to bring in a few players a bit later on in, in I think, in episode 4. Um, but in the first half, then, we start the game really, really well. In the first three minutes, uh, Walker runs onto an absolute world he cross in and, and volleys it into the bottom corner and that is that then we win a free kick and we decided to take it quickly I was a bit fuming about that but we do create a great opportunity from the free kick it was a good save from the goalkeeper now it's exit to City's turn somehow he's in no man's land he's in acres of space nobody with him uh, he cuts back plays a ball across the face of goal to his strike partner who puts it horribly horribly wide then again the cut through my defence uh, pretty well and it's a good save again from Ingham to say he is a 50 odd rated goalkeeper is doing really really well and we lead 1-0 at half time just what we want and we go into the second half the better we're into the 71st minute nothing really else to show you and it's a great build up play and it's a great move and it's a shame the finish was dreadful uh, about that. So I decided to make some changes, Johnson and Smith on for Powell and Chambers, uh, two very important players for us. But then you, 
Exeter are trying their hardest to get an equaliser, but again, Ingham denies them. And we win by a goal to nil. I will take these 1-0 wins all day, every day, every single game of the week. Definitely so. Then we have sold a player, the PVR. Well, I didn't actually capture this when the offer was made from York City for Henderson. And we have sold him for £70,000. Woof. We are getting some money through the door now, which does help for our future players we will be signing in the transfer deadline day. Now, we're going to the final game against Gillingham, a side that are really, really on form uh, and are a strong side in League Two. So we have to be on our guard. And in the 31st minute, we have open a great ball over the top. And maybe he should have done a little bit better on his weaker left foot, I suppose, but this player ratings are that great. And again, Joe is involved once more, cuts inside, lays the ball off to Chambers. Chambers does really well to beat his defender and shoots, and it just goes wide of the mark. So unlucky. We are the better side, and we need to take our chances. Again, a great build up play. It's a lovely ball to Kia, and Kia shoots, and it's just gone wide. And that is that for the first half. We are drawing with Gillingham. Um, no goals in the game it's been pretty exciting for us so I make some changes Johnson, Coulson on for Joe and Walker because the fatigue was setting in a little bit then Gillingham have a chance in the 68th minute a cross comes in I managed to clear it with Kyle Al great block putting the bodies on and surely he must score mm. Yes, well, he'll be featuring on Taxi at Soccer AM next weekend with that miss, definitely. Probably the worst miss I have ever, ever seen in FIFA 13 at the minute. And another effort there for us goes begging, but we're in the 90th minute now. We'll push it forward. It's a lovely ball play through to Powell, and his touch has let him down. It's unbelievable. That could have meant that we win, but there's still time for one last chance. Powell turns provided this time to Johnson, hits it first time, and he's hit the back of the net, and we got absolutely berserk. Get in there. And I do a Mourinho-style dive on the pitch like he did a couple of weeks ago. And we win the game again by one goal to That's three one nils in this episode and not a goal conceded in my York City career mode at all. And as you see on screen now, we have got the league tables. It's played for, it's won for, it's goals for six, goals against none. A goal difference is six and a point are 12. What a way, what a start to my York City manager campaign. And this is this episode coming to an end, guys. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and support my channel. Make sure you are around tomorrow to check out my Leeds United career mode. The next episode will be live, and it's a beauty. And I shall see you all later, guys. And I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.